Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So cancer, this reading will be for you if you have any cancer placements or if you're dealing with a cancer. So I'm going to do something a bit different for you guys, all right? So I know these days a lot of people are in situationships, okay? So I will do a general reading, okay? And I'll see what comes out and then I will do a reading on situationships, okay? So, and I think I've only done it for... Gemini and Taurus okay so let me know if you if you want to see more of those because really and truly that's just the reality these days okay so as opposed as, rather than doing single and in a relationship a lot of people are in the middle a lot of people okay so we can um we'll do that for you let me know if you'd like that all right so let's get three angel numbers for you to start with please press the like button it really does help the channel you have no idea okay just press like it's, it's you know it's free you know i appreciate it helps the channel grow all right all right guys let's get straight into the reading three angel mess three angel number messages for cancer please something about stop delaying something cancer okay so i just got a message i have to say it before i start cause i don't i kick myself when i don't say messages kick myself there's something that you need to stop delaying, okay? Whether it's responding to someone, whether it's starting something, whether it's finishing something, stop delaying it. The time is now, okay? So that's where it's probably spirit, God, whatever, whoever it is, whatever it is that you believe in, it's saying, get back on that, okay? All right, all right. So let's see. All right, so we have a number four, I am stable, okay? You, you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and persuasive uh, perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner and colleague. Okay. Then we have number 21. I am inspiring. You are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. Then we have number 16, I am perspective. So you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to undercover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. I'm not surprised you guys are uh, water signs, very highly intuitive. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. There may be certain things that you just know. You don't know how you know it. You didn't read a book to know it or understand. It's your feelings. You understand certain things. It could be in regards to what I was saying about just um, stop delaying something. Okay. Um, it could be in regards to that. Okay. Something that you're meant to share. Okay. That's very natural to you. Now I'm going to use a panther deck to start with. I'm going to use uh, let's get about six cards from this deck. You know, I'm going to pull them like this because, because I get tempted to pull more when I see them upright you move this along if you haven't already please why have you not sub uh, liked and subscribed okay anyways let's put that away so let's see we have strategy all right so this guy here is playing chess all right um, we have planning prediction and mind reading okay some of you guys are thinking about a next move, okay? We have pride, okay? Self-esteem, self-worth, and ego, okay? So this is this person here at work or working on something, okay? And clearly proud of, of their achievements, okay? Proud of what they have created, what they've come out, what they've produced, okay? So this could be you. And we have endorsement, ah, okay. Uh, persuasion, bribe, and temptation, I'm intrigued. I'm going to keep going. Let me, I'll come back to that. Real estate. So some of you guys, you could be looking at moving a house. Um, it could be, um, what's the word? You could be, uh, what's the word? When you downsizing. So for some of you guys or getting something big. Okay. We have here wealth investment, mega project. You know, with the endorsement there, 
and the pride and real estate beside it. It's making me feel like it really feels like negotiating. Yes, you could say bribe, but it could be negotiating like, hey, if I give you this house, um, I, I don't know what the terms are, I don't work in real estate, but you can get X, Y, Z, this, whatever, okay? And also maybe you, maybe you know somebody who is great at um, designing, decorating, building, you could actually um, say, hey, if I pay you this amount. So I'm getting more of a negotiating energy, okay? Especially with the cards that's around um, um, endorsement, okay? Let's see what else we got. Protest and marinette. Okay, protest in in inadequacy, sue and attention. Okay. Oh, that's a whole different story. Right, bear with me, bear with me. For some of you guys, it could be like, you know, say for example, I know in some countries, like, um, actually, let's just be fair, in regards to law, when somebody very well known, like I'm not saying this is what your situation is, but it reminds me of that. In law, in law, like say for example, um, a famous artist, a musician, um, for example, you know, say like for example, Chris Brown. I don't even want to say people's names, but certain people that have um, done things, okay, um, c um, committed some kind of type of crime, but because of their status, their status, they could kind of pay their way out, yeah. Now that happened. That's been happening since forever, forever. That's not nothing new. Some of you guys, you could be using your status, or somebody else is, in order to, in order to buy themselves out of a situation, okay? Or because of the money that they have, or the family that they come from, something like that. That really reminds me of that. Is it Murdo? Murdo. I don't know how to say their name. Everyone. You must have watched it on Netflix, a lot of you guys, the Murdo um, family, they were in law, funny enough, they had the law establishment and they paid their way out of a lot of situations. That's so weird, yeah, that actually, that, that's that's big right now in Netflix and that. And then we have Marinette, uh, dictatorship, uh, domination and reluctance, okay? This is making me, this, whenever I see this card, it makes me think of the matrix. It makes me feel like, well, that's not what I want to do, but I need to get paid. And that's, you know, what I've got to do in order to have um, uh, food on my table and then pay the bills and stuff like that. Also, it, it, it can make me feel like, it makes me feel like, you know, somebody could have something over you or you have something over somebody, which is making them do, um, do certain do certain things that they may not want to do i'm leaving that aside i'm over it <laughs> okay <laughs> all right all right so let's see i'm gonna do put these away let's see about your that's kind of general shall i do a little bit more all right i'll do a little bit bit more about general i'll use the tarot cards i'll pull like a few more cards what else can you tell me generally for cancer, please? We have the wheel. We have the high priestess. Whatever you have come into you, whatever you've um, obtained, whatever you've worked towards, keep it to yourself at the moment. You'll understand why at a later date. Okay. Tell me more, please. The high priestess come out. Okay, a few turned around. We have the six of cups, the four of wands. The Knight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Some of you guys are coming into money, okay? I see money. I see. I see stability. I'm also getting you guys um, being in, being in a position where you're able to um, assist uh, people around you. Whether it's um, I'm not sure if it's in regards to your career or your family, friends, okay? Ten of Pentacles and Seven of Cups. Some of you guys are like, what am I going to, like, what? Money's coming, money's looking good. Let me tell you this, money is looking good. So 
I always say, like, as, as many times as it comes up in my reading, uh, readings, I always take a moment to say, never stress about man money, never stress about it, okay? Because that's what kind of keeps people in that lack mentality, okay? Trust me, I've been there. Um, once I change my mindset, money come much easier and quicker, okay, and more frequently. So um, I do, whoever that is working towards something, I see it. I see it. Tell me more. And I do see you guys wondering what you're going to invest it in, what to do with it, okay? Tell me more, please. And then we'll get onto the situationship. I know that everybody's in a situationship, so... Um, but I just feel to do it for you guys. I feel to do that reading for you guys today. The King of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Oh, that made me feel straight away. Some of you guys, you could have ended something with somebody, i.e. a divorce or something like that. Okay, King of Cups, Ten of Swords. So I could. So some of you guys could have got that money through that way or some of you guys have got that money through family inheritance or something like that. Tell me about that, please, Ten of Swords. Some of, <laughs> some of you guys had ha, have a, um, a, I don't want to say a secret bank account, but if you're in a relationship, some of you guys may have money aside, um, just in case, all right? Like, you know, maybe they know about it, but some of you guys, yeah, I do see somebody here with having money aside, just in case someone, somebody like um, backstabs them, okay? Eight of Swords, yep, yeah, because you don't want to be stuck. Yeah, oh, that is, yeah, is what it is. Eight of Swords, Knight of Wands, and the Three of Wands. So if somebody plays with you in a way that you... But if somebody crosses a boundary with you, Cancer, and you're like, yeah. And some of you guys are almost... Especially if you've experienced this from this person or this person in your life, whether you're with them or you're dating them, and they've um, shown certain traits of somebody that you may have been with or people that are away where they may um let's just say just do what they want regardless if if they're in a relationship or not i see you guys like okay if that happens i'm gonna be good regardless okay so yeah good all right that's good all right so let's see situation ship i will use a different deck where's that new deck that i just brought out did i put that away i might have put it away all right, I'll use this deck then. I'll use the, uh, I forgot what it's called. Light Seekers. Light Seers. Tell me about uh, the situation ship. The Tower and the Temperance. Some of you guys are healing from this. You're getting over it. The trauma. The, the, um, un if some of you guys are like that was so unnecessary. I do see you guys like, um, with, for the Temperance to come out after the Tower, it's like, I knew better. I knew better and you know I'll, I'll get on with it I'll move on from it so you guys are moving on from it some of you guys it could have been a Scorpio or Sagittarius that you're dealing with thank you so we have the five of swords oh this person was a headache this person is or was a headache some kind of conflict going on between you tell me more about the situation shit please The three of wands and knight of cups. You expect this person to return. You expect this person to return at some point, or the, with the three of wands, knight of cups. You do want this. You do. I, I didn't mean to say you do want. Some of you guys, you do want this person to return. Um, I, there's reasons for that. You know what, Cancer? I'm I'm actually gonna have another channel where I talk about um things regarding love relationships as well. Um, I will actually forgot the other channel name that I have. I haven't I haven't posted stuff like that, but I use it for my personal readings. I will put that on my community section at some point. I want to get it to a thousand first before I start posting anything. I need there to be a thousand um, subscribers. I'm like halfway there. All right, tell me about this person. Five of Cups. King of Wands. Page of Pentacles and the World. This person is checking in to see if you've if if you're if you're checked out. They're checking in to see if you've checked out. It's like going into a room. It's like you going them going into a room to see if you're still there. And some of you guys, the room's empty. 
let me see tell me more do you get what i'm saying like like you're not available the empress okay i'm getting a few things here because the empress come out i'll get another i'll get another card just to kind of narrow it down the king of cups why some not all of you for some of you guys you you may have children with this person for some of you guys yes you can have children with people in a situation ship of course because not everybody is in a, in a relationship and they may have fun get pregnant and it's just what it is for some of you guys um someone's love for you is growing someone's like the empress and the king of cups it's almost like damn why did i let that go damn i'm too late i'm too late i figured out something too it's too little too late tell me more please okay that wants to come out so we have the moon and then we have the ten of swords in reverse the energy that you was in that you was or are in in regards to this person feeling unsure confused there's like feelings and emotions being hidden there's some kind of secret or you don't know the full truth reality of the situation because they've kept it to themselves or they haven't made it clear to you um this is you getting over it and it's almost like it feels like karma like the roles have been switched and now they're feeling that way because they don't know what it is with you anymore tell me more please I'll get a few more cards the love is in reverse that come out in reverse the love is in reverse they've got the four of wands well well they feel like you have moved on or you are moving on okay and <laughs> if if you had other options which many of you guys you know you will have many different if, everyone's got options even married people everyone's got options in the world like majority of people but anyways i'm so petty um but they feel like you're exploring other options or you've moved, you've tapped out emotionally, okay? Tell me more, please. The Ace of Wands. I want to, like, what, I want to see this person's future actions towards you. Two of Wands, Six of Pentacles and the Wheel. You know what? You know what the the craziest thing is. It's not even crazy. It's just it's just how it, how it goes. This person now has more desire for you than than they did before. I don't know if they've told you this. I'm not sure if they've if they've um, if they're keeping it to themselves. Okay. I do see somebody wanted to give it one last try, one last go around. What's their future actions? Six of Cups. I'm telling you, somebody wants another go around with this. They're thinking about the good times. Justice, the sun, and the seven of pentacles. Some, someone is still invested in this, okay? And you do make them happy. Something about this, okay? Now, whether this person was unsure about what they wanted, maybe you met them and they said they didn't want a serious relationship. Some of you guys, they would have said that. But either way... It could have been early days when you guys were getting to know each other, but now it's like, actually, um, so, you know, they could be thinking cancer is is actually the kind of person that I want to be uh, dealing with, that I want to be with, okay? Could be a Libra, we got Leo there, okay? We got um, Gemini, S Scorpio, Sagittarius, we got uh, Taurus, got a, a Cancer again. Um, yeah, so... Mm, I wouldn't be surprised if this person reaches out at some point. I'm not sure if this is them thinking that or they've expressed this to you. You know, time will tell. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next reading. Have a lovely weekend, guys.